Welcome to Hump Cinema. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and enjoy the video. A tiny dress. She needs to look like me, with little horns. And wings. And you two with a beautiful halo. Uh, Mr. Huh? Joey Drew? <laughs> okay, uh, I will do it. <laughs> Damn it. Um, Mr. Joey, is something wrong? Yeah, is something wrong? Sorry, guys, I can't help. The ink machine is broken again. Maybe later I can tell Wally to fix it, but for now, you need to wait again. Sorry. <sighs> Don't cry, Bendy. It's okay. Maybe we just need to wait again. For another long time. Really? Alice? Really? Again? It's like the fifth time it happens! I'm starting to think he's lying to us. Ugh. Bendy, calm down, please. Ugh. We need to find another way. Or maybe he don't think too much about a new cartoon in here. I mean, he don't want us to have a baby after all. Oh, wait, wait Alice. P please don't think that. We need to think about what we're going to do now. Ignore Joey for a minute and think about our children. But I don't know. If we broke Joey's rules, he'll erase us or something like that. I'm scared about that. I'm sorry, Bendy, but I think I'm with Joey. Really? You're going to be in his side? Come on, Alice. I love you so much. I worked hard for this shit. Put my love in this shit. And now you don't want to be part of this? What the hell? Sorry, but you need to understand it. No matter how many designs of children we make, no matter how much time we wait, this is never gonna happen. I'm sorry. I have to go. Alice, please. <sighs> Betsy didn't want this for us. this way. Really? What made you guess? We have to be careful. It could easily be filled with searchers, butchers, or the angels' traps. Well, we got one light. Which one of you jokers are going in? <laughs> <laughs> what? That vent is really small. Yeah. No way a big guy like me is fitted in there. We need someone. Hmm. Who is small enough to squeeze right in? No way! If you expect me to crawl through that vent, I'm out of here! Crap! Man, I hate you guys! Ugh, it smells like Grandma just died in here! Ugh! Yuck! This is majorly disgusting! And that's why spiders aren't insects! Ugh, you don't say! Good thing I'm a vegetarian! I don't want to do nothing. It's good to kick back. Three pals and no bendy. What more could you want? Yeah. <laughs> I'm best. I think I'll turn in for the night. Out. Right behind you! Our time has come to free the trapped souls of this hell, to release them, then to go home finally. 
Are you sure everything will go according to plan, Alice? Yes, I'm most definitely sure of this. We will be set free. We will stop the evil that consumed a lot of our undying freedom. This is why I choose to stick by your side, my friend. Cause you have a brave heart and a strong spirit. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're gonna make me blush, you silly wolf. <laughs> yeah. But are you sure we can trust Henry? Are you sure he won't leave and betray us like the many other creators have done? Because most of them have become corrupted with greed of the power of the inky darkness gives them. I know he's better than them all. I hope so. I know he's a good person at heart. I'm an angel after all. You may be right, but I'll keep my eye on him and keep him in his place. Remember, boys, he's not our enemy. The Ink Demon and his army of darkness are our enemy. So please, focus on the real monsters. Ho ho ho! I'll focus on the enemies all right with this puppy. Now let's do this. It's time to save lives. It's time to let God's light shine through so he can stomp out the enemies of the devil. Couldn't have said it any better than I could, Alice. You there! Hey, you're a demon, right? Cuckoo? Yes, I am. Mugs, let me go! I need to let out some steam on this thing! Cup, Cup, please, leave him! Things like them ruin other people's lives! They create a living hell to the people around them! And that's the truth! <sighs> Honestly, all demons are evil at heart. Especially that gambling cheater of a devil! Uh, uh, maybe... Maybe I went too far. You two, come with me! Wait, where are you taking us? Huh? Huh? We are so dead! Like someone's got a death wish today. With a daring devil, you two always surprise uh, me. Uh, Every time. Yeah. Bendy, don't tell me they're forcing you. No, no, it was my choice to. Then these boys are just causing you trouble, then? No, they aren't. Then what exactly are you doing here with them if it isn't for those reasons, Bendy? I'm here because of you and what you're doing to these guys, as well as everyone else you've encountered. What exactly are you asking of me? Free every person you contracted out of your debt. What? What? This is a request I wasn't expecting, but requests that large require a lot of sacrifice, so you would have to give me something that can equal to all those sold debt contracts. And you know exactly what I wanted from you for a long time, Bendy. You might as well cough it up. <laughs> Fine, you can have it. But promise me this. You won't destroy it every single time you get angry about it. And if I found out you destroyed it, I won't forgive you. Then it's a deal, then. Wait, so was it... The soul did? All right. The two of you are off the hook, as well as every other person in my debt. You should be thankful I'm being this generous. Are you kidding me? What exactly did he even give you? Doesn't matter. You two are free to go. You guys should be more happier about this. Yes, but this is... Anyway, your name is Cup, right? My brother calls me that. It's actually Cuphead. Well then, Cuphead, can you come with me to tell the other contractors the great news? Wait, why me? I also wanted to talk to you personally, while we're off searching together. Well, okay then. It's the least I can do for saving me and my brother, Mugman. You, of all people, surprise me. Do I now? I'm feeling guilty now. But let me be honest with you here. I would be honored to be your friend. 
Are you sure about this, Cuphead? Yes, and I'm sure Muggs would agree along with me on that fact. Why didn't I find this blog sooner? I just found it, and I'm already in love. Holy hell. Now hold the phone right there. I never said I had a blog to begin with. Wait, if you didn't say that, then who exactly did? Okay, Bendy, what's going on? I'm hearing voices in my head. And what's worse, they know who we are. Oh, um, hello, Cuphead and Bendy. Are you guys okay? I don't know what's happening, but it seems like these voices mean no harm to us. <laughs> Shit, didn't mean to give you guys an existential crisis. You two okay? Cuphead is rather freaked out, but I'm oddly calm about it. Maybe it's because I'm used to it, even though this is my first time experiencing something this... Oh. <laughs> but it doesn't make sense, since I haven't heard of any being even demons that can communicate with these voices. It's all so weird. Maybe the Red Devil can help out. Also, where's Mugman right now? Good idea. Brenton might know what to do. And we were on our way to pick up Mugman, after telling everyone anyway. What is Mugman doing at the moment? Um... How's the chocolate meal, Mugboy? Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know I respect you and your brother's strength and trust, but I'm more surprised you guys got Bendy to defend every soul did contractor. Oh, um, I've been mean to ask you and Brenton about Bendy. How exactly do you guys know him? Well, Bandy was a regular customer at the time, along with his best friend and stepsister. The casino back then was brand new, so we didn't have many customers. We made a fortune thanks to Bandy and those two other guys. They would perform in our casino on a daily basis, until we could afford to pay for performers. Bandy and those guys eventually left to become traveling street performers. Sometimes they would even perform on actual stages on studios. They became well known in some parts of the world, especially in hell. That's the darling trio. You'll never find a kind-hearted, funny, and trustworthy demon like him anywhere. It's because he was unique that he was given a privilege to live in the outside world. What I don't understand is why did he come back to the casino alone without those two? OMG! OMG! Where did Cup go? Where did Cup go? Where did Cup go? Hold on a second. Don't all demons have a right to go where they want to? Unfortunately, no. They need specific high amounts of magic to keep themselves alive. If every demon can leave as they please, most of them won't live for long and turn to dust. Only high level demons can leave hell and live for long periods of time. Cup is with Bendy. I told this to you already, Mr. Dice, didn't I? Wait, so that wasn't you that just asked where Cuphead was? No. Then who exactly was asking then just now? Mugman, help me! I'm either going crazy or someone's stalking me! Hey, Cuphead, are you okay? You look scared. Wait a sec. Stalking seems a bit odd, unless you suddenly had, well, I don't know, fangirls or something. But I don't, Smugman! Maybe Bendy, but we just met the guy, and he's the one who freed everyone, not us! I don't know, the voices are freaking me out! Voices? What voices? Oh, you mean these voices, Cup? They don't sound dangerous. Voices beyond the fourth wall. What is wrong with you? This denies all logic and sanity! If you and Bendy think this is even considered okay or normal! Cuphead, we are a talking cup and mug who can shoot bullets from our fingers, defeated almost everyone at Inkwell in less than 24 hours, and befriended an ink demon who saved everyone after you became a jerk to him. Let's not even talk about logic here after that fiasco. We're just asking questions here and there. We're not stalkers. Even so, this is still a shock. Like, why now are we hearing voices? Why not right at the beginning or once we met Bendy? 
Those times would have made a bit of sense. Yet it happens right now with no reason behind it. Hell, Betty doesn't even know what's going on either. Speaking of Betty, where is he? Wasn't he supposed to be with you? Cuphead, you left Bendy behind. Oh, did you just ditch Bendy, Cup? He helped us in more ways than one, and what do you do? You left him in the dust. Um, Cuphead, what the hell? Hey, it's okay. Cuphead didn't mean to leave him behind. He was just so shocked by this situation that he didn't realize what he was doing. It was just spur of the moment, going by fight or flight instinct, if you will. It's pretty understandable seeing how we surprised you and you're having trouble understanding what's going on. Well, you already know he didn't mean it. You just have to learn how to not jump the gun all the time. Cuphead knows that I care for him and all the cattle. We act different, but we are still twins. He's still my older brother. And I wouldn't be much of a younger brother if I didn't feel some sort of concern. I wouldn't replace him for anyone else in the world. Besides, what will he do without me anyway? Yeah, you're right, Mugman. I shouldn't have ditched Bendy like that. I'm sorry. Say it to Bendy, bro, not me. Besides, he doesn't seem like the guy to get upset. But we can wait for him here. So, uh, where's Bendy at the moment? Hello, boys. Did you miss me? Because I sure did. Golly, aren't you gonna turn around? Uh, uh, and say hi? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Gosh, guys, your faces were just priceless. I'm sorry, it's just me. I was just teasing you guys for a bit. <laughs> oh my god, their faces! Oh my god, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy! Ah! Oh, it's just Bendy. Bendy, what the f is that? Oh boy, I think I may have overdid it a bit. I'm actually a bit loopy from it all, but it's worth it, right? Bendy, that was just terrifying. But I gotta admit, the Cup Bros had the best reaction, though. I know, right? It was totally worth the magic, too. Well, my original plan was to get only Cuphead scared. But seeing how he dashed off so fast, I knew he made it there before me. So I decided to scare the both of them. Whoa, wait a second! Why was I a target, too? I didn't do anything to you! Well, blame your brother for ditching me a while ago. I had to get him back somehow. And you just happened to be with him. <clears throat> Don't a friggin' rat a friggin' rat a friggin' rat Huh? <laughs> Are you still frozen in fear, Cuphead? I didn't think you were that easily scared. Bendy, are you mad at Cuphead for leaving you? What now? I'm not really upset. Why would you... Wait, is that the reason Cuphead is acting like this? Hey, Cuphead, I'm not mad. Honest. Hey, buddy. Anything. Please, Cup. <laughs> oh, I'm gee, Bendy, I didn't expect you to do that. I'm sorry. I was silent because I was trying to hide my laughter. Uh oh, okay. I'm normally the prankster, so no one has ever spooked me like that before. Well, Bendy is a kind-hearted demon like King Dice said. I believe that. I really do. Except, honestly, even with his kindness, I can't help but wonder why he does the things he does now. Like unknowingly help us free everyone from death? That's way too generous. And he doesn't tell us why he did it. And what's worse, he scared the living hell out of both of us. Not once, but goddamn twice. Both caused by my own brother's actions that I had nothing to do with. You're right. I should look at the bright side of this whole situation. He is not trying to kill us or taking our souls. He even has something in common with Cuphead, so I guess they can actually bond together as friends. Ooh. I take that last part back. That's worse. Actually, I do need to talk to him. Do you know when he'll come back? I haven't seen Mr. Dice at all since I came back. Where is he? Wait, Mr. Dice hasn't been at the bar table since you came back, Cup? But that... Where did he go? Come on, I've been looking for an hour now. I know we packed it here somewhere. Looking for something, Dice. 
Perhaps this little thing. Brian! Oh, I mean, boys! Hello! Long enough. I finished my bidding early and heard you and that muck boy talk 